Okay, so good day. Um, welcome to Hensi Money Making Class. So today I'm going to be teaching you two things. The first thing I'll teach you is how to send money from your Perfect Money account to another Perfect Money account, and secondly, I'll also be teaching you how to verify your account to reduce the cost of transaction. Okay, so good and fine. Well, first thing you need to do is you need to log into your Perfect Money account, and then once you've logged into your Perfect Money account, it will be quite easy. So once you open your browser you go back to the place you wrote my accounts and then you can be able to see three accounts here the first one is gold the second one is in dollars the third one is in euros uh, well for this tutorial i'm going to be making use of the dollar account now if you actually notice um here this is what we're going to be using so um you'll notice that there is actually something that looks like a white paper there very good so what we'll do is that we're going to click on it and then you'll see send money now another way again it's you can come up here you can come up to this place on the dashboard you'll be able to see here they send money so either ways either you use this one or you use the other one you should still be able to send money okay um okay log it out so let's just be a bit patient now usually you find out that they could log you out like this because of ip changes so um, and they don't usually allow you to stay quite long okay so it's part of their security system nevertheless okay so if i click on send money it opens up this for me and i see you i see the u starts with the dollar e is for the euros and g is for gold so um you see a place for single payment payment to email payment to mobile and scheduled payment so our consign today will just be the single payment i click on single payment and i fix in how much i want to send if i want to send ten dollars i write ten dollars and then i have to get the person's account number maybe the person's account number is u234555 and then that's the account number and then it's not compulsory you can write anything here uh, you want to write all right money coach for example and the same thing goes so when you're done if you want to add this person to your payee list it means that um regularly if the person the person you're going to add on your payee list, you click there the person you're going to add on your payee list means regularly you would always want to send money to that person and so that's why it's necessary so now there's another thing here over here you would notice there's a small white paper so um, maybe i've saved some person's contact as my payee list so i can come over here i will click on this person and the account number will actually change to the person's own so that's what happens when you add payee list so it means you can be able to choose the person's number you know you see the person's account and all that and add the person so um now add protection code um simply is more like a password so you're fixing a password or something and so if people have to make payments or stuff like that the receiver it says with this option enabled tra transfer receiver should enter secret protection code to accept this payment a receiver will not enter correct protection code transfer is subject for automatic rollback right after protection period is expired so you can be able to fix how long you want the protection period to be and so the money is there looking at the person but the person unless the person fix in the code he cannot be able to receive the money so uh, maybe you're telling the person i'm willing to pay you but um you need to do something once you do the thing i'm going to send you the password so you're the one who says this so if you want a random code you mark random code if you don't want you untick it so if you're still not interested in this you simply remove ad protection code and if you don't want to add the person you simply untick ad pays list so all you simply need to do is personally type in the account number of the person or you copy and you paste it so once you are done with this you're good to go you click on payment preview you click on payment preview and they'll tell you yeah i actually did that but once you click on payment preview they will, you'll see another um box will come up again asking if you want to confirm the payment so once you confirm the money the money goes 
and that's it so again i'm going to show you the second method which i talk about is account accounts which i said if you click on those white paper close to um those place close to the account number here yes that's exactly what i said so if you click there you see send accounts and then send money very simple well other than that if you also wish to um you wish to view oh who have i sent money to and all that you can come here and click on view statement it gives you access to every single um, person you've sent money to what you've done use the money to do and all that so you can see here shows me all the details the amount of money i've actually sent those in red are the money i've sent out those in green are the ones i've received i'm talking about um over here so you, you can and then you can also be able to choose um the dates you want to see your statement for so it's quite very simple and easy um okay uh, okay let's let's see something in my account again now uh, when i showed you here okay that's exchange money if you want to transfer from usd to euros the choice is all yours so uh the second thing i said i'm going to be teaching you how to do is how to verify your account now usually probably you know oh you need to be sending out volumes to people one thing that you actually need to do is for you to verify your account you need to verify your account so what do you need to do for you to verify your account you just simply click on settings which is over here settings that is top right here and then once you click on settings over there it takes you to this page and then you see where they wrote account verification so you apply for verification you see it says your account status is not verified so you click on verification management and once that's opened up there are three steps that I actually need to take the first step he says here is that i need um i probably my passport my driver license my national id card i need to do an upload for it once i upload the documents if they accept it good but this stream must actually be verified now the second one is my address maybe something that contains your address your utility bill whatever thing it is that contains your probably your bank statement if it actually does then you upload it and then again the last one there is the phone value for the, um, your phone number but basically this phone number will only be available when the first two both the name validation and address validation has actually been verified so if it's not verified you do not have access for you to be able to verify your phone number okay but now basically um perfect money will charge you 1.99 percent for transactions done it depends on the vendor there are some of them that allows you to deposit when you're depositing they charge you some of them when you're withdrawing is when they will charge you so some of depends on the platform some of them decides to bear the brunt so um so based on this actually all that you need to realize and to know is all you need to realize and know is um you you, you actually need to be able to understand that okay fine what you need to do is um you just need to verify your account so that they reduce the rate to like 0.50 percent so which makes it cheaper for you to be able to make transfers so with this all said and done i'm sure by now you know how to send money from your perfect money account you also know how to verify your account so um if you've not yet subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button so that you can actually be able to get more infos like this thank you